Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7 on the Mysterious JG, and to my mild surprise, when I called it a video last time and hit the button to continue on, it took me straight out to the stage select screen. So the game openly encourages you to go out and get items. I guess the shop isn't really that much use if you can't use it to stock up between stages, but um, yeah, I'm going to throw down a checkpoint save now, because I did. I went back and got um, you know restocked on E-Tanks and Beat Whistles and whatnot, and in the process got some lives, so I think we'll just cut to the chase, and if I get oh no with that yeah I'll just keep a save here and if we run out of lives we just load that save and that way I can you know, this will be faster than worrying about oh I don't want to use my e-tanks I've only got one life left or whatever I have this strange sense that like I'm not I'm playing this for fun and recording it and I have this sense of like no you have to you can't use the things that have been given to you to make the game easier or you're a bad person <laughs> I really did uh, enjoy games like this so much more before. Wait, let's playing like yeah, God, those Ninja Gaiden Sigma videos just broke me. Like I, I, I thought I did fine. I was pleased with my ability to find ways to get through the game's troubles and just have people show up in the comments and tell me how noob I am. But really, the whole thing with like getting a rating at the end of each level in video games—that's a newer invention. I mean, back in the day, like if you beat the level, you won. If you didn't, you lost. Whatever got you through. Now it's like, oh man, I feel really good. I won that like tough boss fight in Revengeance, and it's like, oh, you got to see rank. I was like, wait, what? That was like super awesome. There was like epic music playing, and I won. It's great. Don't take this away from me. I need it. <laughs> okay. That's a surprising amount of health on that screen. So, apparently this is Turtle Man stage, or it's Gamera themed? I, I don't really know what's going on, but... Oh, here we go. Love me some powered up suit. Oh, you want to be able to slide so you can avoid attacks? Not me, man. I don't want to tank shit. Apparently, that's... I'm, I was kidding. Apparently, that's just the truth, though. Moving platforms, not usually fun. I'm not moving, but, you know, they're moving in the sense that the surface is rotating around. And we, oh, here we go. Probably this guy again, yeah. Oh, my wait is over. This time the modern mega measure for travel or tire. And we still don't get to hear his awesome dog noise. Uh, oh, he's he's got Power Buster too. I guess it's only fair I'm fighting with Power Buster now that he's got Power Buster. Okay, I didn't even like have time to think. Do I want to use any tank here? I just got murdered. Uh, I think I remember that noise thingy me jigger is good against him. Ah, my wait is over. Oh no, he knows of my weakness, noise thingy me jigger. Assuming that's even correct. Now you have no ability to get the uh, charged up shot of it, but. Let's 
Is it really doing that good against him? Not really. Well, that's obnoxious. He just, like, jumps right down into wherever you were. Oh, there's... There's low gravity here. I didn't actually notice that before. I thought he was just boosting around because he's booster guy. That's not what I meant to do. Alright. Oh, I sure hope I don't need 100 tries to beat the boss of this stage, because I'm going to be sick of base by the time I'm done. I'm already kind of sick of base. He's, to me, there's nothing interesting about the character of base at all. It's one of those things, if you're really into Mega Man lore, and uh, this was the, the hot new thing when you came in, then you care about base, but... I, yeah, again, like, I'm, I'm dying so freaking fast, I'm not even getting a chance to think about what else I would like to potentially use. I mean, the homing shot from this would be nice if it just means I can concentrate on avoiding his stuff, but his pattern seems pretty random to me. I always get annoyed when you're fighting someone who's supposed to be your your rival and equal with the same techniques that you have, but their body damages you when you touch them and yours does not damage them. I don't understand why he's powering up right this second, but... Sometimes he just like flies directly into you, passing through that platform wherever he is. Why, why can't I destroy him? I thought it was why can't I stop him. That is a quote embedded in my head from this game. But uh, what? Well, I mean, you kind of did stop me several times before I finally resorted to an e tank. And now it's like you don't have. I thought you had low gravity. I don't know what's going on. I got no idea. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna hate this guy's stage the first time around. Well, the spring stage, it's not... I feel like they're combining elements from two stages I hated both of. The Turbo Mon and Spring Man. Okay, now I just can't slide, period, with the hell game. Oh, I can already tell I'm not going to enjoy this. So, coil or power suit, either way is going to be painful. Okay, good, that shoots up. Yeah, I can uh, leave the power juice behind there. Grind for it here if I really felt like it, you know? I think there actually is something in this game that stops these jerks. Yeah. Again, it felt like grinding for um, health, bubble bomb, bat guys, whatever you call them, is the way to do it. I 
no idea how much more there is to the level. How freaking close I gotta get, man? Come on. Uh, one health pickup, and I'll call it a day, folks, even if it's a little one at this point. Just don't want to admit defeat at this point. Tiny screw. Or bolt, I suppose. If you insist on using the correct names for things, some kind of smarty smart. Crying out loud. Just give me a little, even a little, like if I get a big one, I'll feel bad now. Fine, you know what, fine, fine. I, I, I'll just come up here and get murdered by these guys. I think I remember this boss, and it's going to involve a lot of sliding, which I'm terrible at. Um, how many lives have I got left? I said I wasn't going to... I got two. I don't remember what this thing's weakness is, uh, to the extent that I ever knew. But I, I guess we want to try facing it once without any kind of special extra good stuff anyway, but um, I guess it uh, wire coil does damage to it, or a charged buster. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of annoying to me. I guess they can charge to drop health. That's nice. Apparently, there's a trick you can do if you're really good with uh, bubble wrap, but uh, I am not good, so it didn't work. And yeah, I wasn't going to beat it the first try, so... What the hell. So if you get... If you can use bubble wrap on one of those turtles, it's apparently... And then you can knock that turtle into the big turtle. I think you can knock that bubble into the big turtle. Because it'll hang around for a while. You can do a lot of damage. I don't foresee myself being good enough to pull that off. But... With a uh, knee tank and a little luck, I can probably just win. I hope I could see what was happening. And then, I think the easiest way to deal with these guys is just going to be Junk Shield. No, that wasn't worth going in for. Oh, got the wrong weapon equipped. Oh, cut to the chase. Who am I trying to kid here? I 
That'd be great if one of these guys drops a new tank, but that seems like it's asking a bit much. Okay. problem is when I stop being allowed to see where I am. Yeah, I was doing pretty good until it suddenly, like, oh, you got hit by the fires, and now you can't see where you are for the next, you know, 10 seconds. That was a little bit of a problem. Let's play, let's see if we can do this the fancy way that they talk about. Nope. Supposed to kick it away from it and then back towards it. No, no, I'll oh, fuck. Fine. I'm gonna be trapped in like I can't see what's going on frames. I'll use a second E tank. Because otherwise I would have no ability to see what was going on as so I That was just me getting careless because I knew I could afford it. Ugh. Oh well. It's done. It's not a. Uh, it's not setting the world on fire. Although I was set on fire. And the problem is that when you're set on fire, um, you just can't see where the hell you are. <laughs> I don't think that's something wrong in my settings because I'm just playing it on a console. Anyway, guys, it drops me right out here because it's like, don't worry, Gigi. We, we know you need to go and get those E tanks back. It's okay. So when we come back next time, I'll go and get those E-Tanks back, I guess. I'll see you then, guys.